My fellow Deegans, what is going on? Today is March the 22nd, 2021. Yes, the title is accurate. This allegedly happened because we are living in the year 2021 where the world is suffering from full-blown psychosis. Things that are real in 2021 would have been articles in The Onion back in 2003. But we now live in clown world. And before I get started with our main topic, there are two things I would like to cover. The first one being, for those of you who have sent video tips, there are two things that I'm looking for. I need quotes in the article and a good comment section. Now, some of you did send me those things, and that's great, but there's only one thing that I have to mention about those articles. We need things that are completely over the top. That's what I'm looking for, over the top. The second thing I want to cover is this comment we received in the last video so i'm going to read it really quick and this person says all of this shit is just distraction which is what most secretly want especially the truth or lames i just clicked on to hear whether or not you had an example to set or a solution to propose as usual nothing but whining about whiners grow up Okay, here's the thing. If you are on this channel looking for mature content, looking for solutions, looking for someone who's going to fight back, you're in the wrong place. The only purpose of this channel is to be funny, to screw around and make fun of these idiots that are ruining our world. And because you better believe it, someday being funny and making fun of these people will be illegal. Moving on, we have this story from CNBC. As the pandemic fades, some Americans are anxious about a return to normal. And I have to introduce you to David Dudovitz, who might be the biggest pussy in the world. When David Dudovitz ventured out to get his first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine last week, it was only the fourth time the fourth the fourth time he had left his new york apartment since the pandemic began and he wasn't going to take any chances how can you stay in your home for an entire year and only go outside four times what did I used to say about Agenda 21? They want you staying where you live. They don't want you having a car. They want you working in the same building where you live so you never have to leave. That is why COVID-19 is Agenda 21. Because they have convinced people to never leave their house. I mean, th this is jail. This is like being in jail. Never leaving your house only four times in an entire year did he leave his house. And he's in an apartment in New York, which means he was only outside four times in one year. People in jail have it even better. Oh, but he, he, he went outside. He finally went outside. Before heading out, Dodovitz put on his N95 mask his face shield, and cargo pants with multiple bottles of hand sanitizer in the pockets. When he got to the clinic, he waited outside until they called him in. Once inside, Dudovitz was so worried. He's such a pussy. He was so worried about catching the coronavirus from the other patients in the lobby that he went to the corner furthest from everyone. He took out a plastic shopping bag and he put it over his head as extra protection. What the fuck is wrong with these people? This is why I can't fight anymore. Because this is the majority of the public. They actually, in the name of saving themselves and being safe, they're doing things that can actually kill them. I, re I remember being five years old and being told... Don't ever put a plastic bag over your head. You might suffocate. And this guy was so scared to die that he actually put a plastic bag over his head. And these people are in the majority and they vote. 
Oh, but look at what he said. Several people thought I was crazy. I was just that terrified. It was just that strong of an anxiety. I just felt like I needed an extra layer because I'm scared of life. I'm such a pussy. <laughs> I could see it being like a PTSD thing. In New York, Dudovitz has relied on his apartment for safety from the real world. His anxiety about the coronavirus stems from being a high-risk individual with bad asthma. Prior to the COVID lockdowns, Dudovitz experienced what felt like a glimpse of the coronavirus when he came down with the flu so badly that he had to go to the hospital. Well, you know what? That happened to me once, too, about 15 years ago. And I'm not scared to death of putting bags over my head. During that traumatic experience, Dudovitz had massive body aches, a heart rate of 140 beats per minute, and couldn't breathe. I figured if that's what the flu did to me, I don't want to mess around with COVID. So I've stayed inside basically religiously because I'd rather be in jail than be free. Wait, look, at, look at what the pussy says here. Despite having received his first dose of the COVID vaccine, Dudovitz said he actually feels less comfortable now. So he doesn't even believe in the vaccine that he's taking. He's afraid some folks will get the vaccine and carry on with a false sense of security, potentially ushering another surge of the disease. Dudovitz said he doesn't feel comfortable enough to leave his apartment until a figure of authority, such as White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci, announces that the U.S. has finally reached herd immunity. COVID is invisible, and I'm so scared of it. It takes two weeks to find out if it's rising, and it can surge from zero to 60 just like that. Nah. So, you know what? This is what I've been telling you guys. I spent a huge chunk of my 20s and early 30s sitting in stupid city council meetings. And what did that do for us? Basically nothing. Sure, some people woke up, but it wasn't enough. Because we got way too many David Dudovitz running around, imprisoning themselves in their own homes, and putting a fucking plastic bag over his head because he's so scared of life.